Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own weapon in the Skyrim Creation Kit. So first thing, you're going to have to make sure that you go to data and skyrim.esm is checked. It'll take a long time for it to load everything, but it's definitely worth it. So now you're going to want to think of a place to put it. I'll just put it in something popular like Dragon's Reach. Not really popular, but a common place. So let me go to interiors. This is in the cell view. And it's probably under White Run. Yes, Dragon's Reach. Jarl's Quarters. Let's see. I'll just double click that. And then wait a little bit. And here, if you click this window and you scroll out, then you can see this is the main room and as I hold space and move my mouse I can move around the place also not just space I can also click down the scroll wheel um so I'll just put it on the floor oh, I'll be more original and put it I don't know I'll just put it on the floor for now it doesn't really matter where you put it um I'll put it on the table right here so what I'm going to want to do is find a weapon that I want to mod or just base off of, like, um, just got to go with the axe again. So I'm going to right click and click duplicate, so it'll generate this list again, and here it's called copy, um, doesn't really matter what it's called. So what you're going to want to do is double click the copy. You never want to change the original because that will just alter the game's files and stuff. And so what do you want to... It doesn't really matter. Actually, never change the ID. This is the actual name. So this will be called... Um... I don't know. Fire Axe? That would be cool. Enchanting. So you can pretty much play around with all this stuff. Um fire damage. I'll set it to 3, that's reasonable I think. Valuable value probably around 450. And you can change this all to your liking. Uh, change the damage. Six. Actually no, more than that. This is supposed to be a beast one. 37. Which I know it's not that good, but it's better than most axes. Alright, um, most woodcutter's axes. Anyways, um, critical damage. 70. E. Alright, you don't want to, like, do burst shot, because that, that's, like, for guns. I don't know what that's for, because you wouldn't really burst arrows. Anyways, number of projectiles, leave that all, leave all this stuff. You can pretty much play around with this. I just like normal. And yeah, change the skill. It does. It, you can make it an axe, but you need light armor. I mean, you can make it anything you want. Um, one-handed. Let's see. Player on. It's fine. Then click OK. And now you have this copy right here. And so you're gonna want to click and drag it into onto this table. I don't know if it will actually put it on the table. Oh, yes it did. Alright, and now, double click the axe, I showed in my previous tutorial. And, click the ownership tab thing right here. You can also change the position of the item by messing with these sliders right here. Yeah, but, I'm not doing that right now. Anyways, whoopsies. Uh, go to ownership. And where it says NPC, click the little arrow and scroll down to where it says player, which should be right. On. Player. And then that means you won't steal it when you pick it up. So you can click OK here. And now you have your own weapon. So all you pretty much have to do now let click file, save, and then save it as axe, actually fire axe. 
And now let's see it in game. So I don't know why it says steal it, but in the next tutorial hopefully I'll clear that up.